everybody, welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I have a 357 Magnum pistol in my hand and I have six rounds of 38 special ammunition. Now you can see that three of them are nickel and three of them are brass. That's because the three of them that are brass are using small pistol primers and the three nickel ones are using small rifle primers. So this video, I'm going to load six rounds and I'm just going to look and see how the small rifle primers act in reference to the small pistol primers. So there's a brass one, that's a small pistol primer. There's a small rifle primer, small pistol, small rifle, small pistol, and one more small rifle. Now all of these bullets are shooting the same powder. They're shooting a Lyant Unique powder at about four grains. And they're shooting a 124 grain Lee cast cone nose bullet. Now I'm not really shooting at anything specific out there. Uh, there, I don't know if you can tell, but down range, I'll try to zoom into it down there past my dog. I'll have to call her back. There's a milk jug. I'm about 35 yards away from that milk jug. And that's, that's what I'm going to be looking to, to aim for. So let me put my dog away and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got my dog in the car. I'm going to kind of zoom in. Try to get that milk jug. Whoops. Right there in the center of my screen. Well, to the right a little bit, but I'm trying to make it in the center. Put my safety glasses on and we'll be shooting away. I'm staying right here behind the camera. So the first round that you're going to hear is going to be a small pistol primer. Just a little bit low. Now the small rifle primer. A little bit high. Small pistol. Looks like I may have hit it. Small rifle. Pretty close. Small pistol. Close. And small rifle. And that's all six. As we can see, all six of those rounds are spent. And you couldn't really tell, at least, I couldn't quite tell much of a difference between the small pistol and the small rifle as far as recoil or sound or anything like that. So, and they all seemed pretty close in accuracy. So anyway, I just wanted to share with that share that with you that in a pinch in a revolver you can use small rifle primers if you're out of small pistol and that's only in a pinch, okay? As we could tell by the footage, the rounds were all kind of dancing around the same area. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I want to mention one more thing while I'm thinking about it and that is when you're loading these 38 special rounds I have two of them in the weapon right now I have a this one's a small rifle primer and then this brass one's a small pistol when you're loading these uh, loads make sure that if you're anywhere near the top of the spectrum as far as the load is concerned, if you're anywhere near the max suggested load and you're going to use a small rifle primer for a small pistol load, back your load down about 10%. So again, if you're 
anywhere around the high threshold of the load I would not recommend using a small rifle primer because it'll I would suspect that it would load it would push that load up into a hotter zone so I'm running these at four grains which is about a grain under max so I need to spin this bad boy around the first one is going to be the small rifle and the small pistol. There they go.